So I put this poll out on my YouTube channel not too long ago and quite a lot of you wanted to see what my gaming slash productivity setup looks like now so here you go. It's going to be a bit more of a vlogging style type of video if I'm honest as I've got my Sony ZV-E10 which is designed for vloggers so it would be a good test to see how this thing gets on. And a lot has changed in my setup over the past 12 months if I'm honest because most of my money does go towards myself. However, I have no regrets and yeah, let's get straight into the setup. So I'm sitting here editing this video and basically I'm a big idiot. And that's because the road video might go, which I have on top of my camera right now, mainly captures its audio from in front of it. And while I was talking about my setup, the microphone was pointing forwards. So the audio sounds absolutely trash. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show a bunch of B-roll about whatever I'm talking about. And I'm going to do the voiceover on my AmpliGame A8, which is a great microphone. So most of the voiceover on today's video is going to be done on the AmpliGame because I'm a big fool. So, yeah. So with all that blunder out of the way, welcome to my setup. My room is pretty small, but I feel like I've made the most out of the space that I have. And yeah, I've somehow managed to fit even a 55 inch TV in this room. So starting off with the console gaming and entertainment area, the main centerpiece here is the LG B1 OLED. It's a 55 inch 4K 120Hz and I've made a video covering this not too long ago. And it's really good for them chill gaming sessions and watching TV shows and movies and stuff like that when I'm lying in bed or just even sitting in my chair. It's a great experience and I have no regrets buying this even though it's been one of the most expensive purchases I've ever made. And thanks to its OLED technology, you get them perfect inky blacks, very fast pixel response times, and you don't get any blooming or halo effects, which you do commonly find on TVs that have backlights. And these specs make it a perfect companion for the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. Personally, I have an Xbox Series X hooked up to this via its HDMI 2.1 cable, which enables 4K, 120Hz with HDR and 10-bit color and all that great stuff. And gaming on this thing is simply amazing. I am looking into potentially getting a optical HDMI cable running from my PC to my TV as there is a spare HDMI 2.1 port on the TV. However, it's not something I've gotten around to yet. Also hooked up to my Xbox, I have the 4TB hard drive from Seagate and I use this to have sort of all the games and games that don't require the velocity architecture. Moving to the right of my Xbox and underneath my TV, we have sort of the miscellaneous storage for my Xbox, I guess. And here we have a bunch of like camera cleaning stuff. And also we've got a bunch of old Xbox 360 games. And I also have some physical Xbox One games as well. And we have quite a few Funko Pops there too. And the little RGB lamp beneath my TV adds a little extra spice to the setup, a little bit more customizability, I guess, and it looks quite cool as well. And next to that, we have my Boba Fett, which is holding my limited edition Cyberpunk Xbox controller, which to be fair, I don't use anymore. However, I think it looks pretty cool. But the main controller which I use on both my Xbox and my PC is the Elite Series 2. It's a very good controller, the best I've ever used. It does have a few durability issues, which I might make a video on that, so stay tuned for that. But overall, it's a pretty good controller. And finally, the lights that I have around the back of my TV are the Govi LED strips, and they are fully customizable via the Govi app on my iPhone. To the left of my entertainment area, we have my workbench area, and this is where a lot of the work gets done. And a lot of my storage is here too. So on the top shelf, we have a bunch of my camera gear, including my camera cage for my Sony A6000, which I don't use anymore. And we have a bunch of lights and Joby pods, stuff like that. The shelf below consists of mainly PC parts. So I have a lot of fans, a lot of 120 mils and a few 140 mils as well. We also have a bunch of Intel CPUs, which serve basically no purpose anymore and i have all the motherboard boxes as well so in case if i need to rma one ever and the bottom shelf consists of mainly graphics cards some of them work some of them don't like this 650 ti works 
totally fine we made a video on that not too long ago this gtx 1070 i've got a bit more content to make on it next to the shelves we have my test bench system which i mainly use for graphics card testing and behind the workbench area we have my desk setup and this is where the vast majority of the work gets done this is where i edit all my videos photos tiktoks instagram reels this is where i play all my pc games this is where I record a lot of my content too. Starting off with the keyboard and it's the Keychron K2. It's a great little 75% keyboard. I made a video on this a few months back and it's been a solid keyboard ever since I bought it. It's got Gatron blue switches so it's nice and clicky. And it's got multiple different lighting modes as well, so I can spice up the RGB. I also have two different mice which serve two different purposes, and I use my G502 Lightspeed as my productivity and just web browsing mouse, as it's really good for that, especially with that infinite scroll wheel. And for gaming, I use my Logitech G Pro X Superlight. It's a great mouse, incredibly light. Beneath my keyboard and mice is the Corsair MM350 Extended, I believe it's called. And I've had this for quite a few years now, and it's a solid mouse map. On the left of my desk is where I store my cameras. So I have both my ZV-E10 and my Sony A6000 here. I used to use my A6000 for videos along with photos. However, now I only use it for photos as its video capabilities aren't particularly great and I have my Sony ZV-E10 now. And slowly to the right of this I have my RGB Moon which just like my RGB lamp over from my entertainment setup has customizable RGB which can be controlled via a remote. Next to my RGB Moon is my wireless 3-in-1 charger which will charge my AirPods, my iPhone and my Apple Watch at the same time. I can't quite recall the brand but I did get it from Amazon and it was only about £30. Above all this are my dual monitors and my main one is the LG GN88A, I believe the model name is. It's 144Hz, 1440p and it's an LG Nano IPS. So it's a pretty good display and 1440p over 1080p looks a lot more crisp and you're not taxing your PC's hardware that much more. And it's pretty much perfect for any type of game, especially the competitive games as I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 recently. And above my main monitor is the light bar from Qantas and this effectively reduces eye strain, especially when you're in a dark room. So it's great for when I'm doing uni work late at night and stuff like that. It really does help with my eye strain and it also acts as a light for when I'm doing unboxing videos as well. So I've kind of took out two birds with one stone there. And the monitor I have on the left is basically your run of the mill 1080p 24 inch TN panel 60Hz monitor. It's nothing special. And above both my monitors, I have my main shelf where I store my camera lenses. So starting from the left, we have the Sigma 30mm f1.4. This is my most favorite lens. This is my workhorse lens. Next to that, we have the Sony FE85 1.8. This is also an incredibly sharp lens, too. And on the far right, we have the Sony 55 to 210, I believe it is. And then on the left of these, we have a lot of my Funko Pops, which stay up there just to add a bit of spice up there. Back down to the main setup, and the thing that is powering it all is my custom built PC, which has a Ryzen 9 3950X, 32 gigabytes of Corsair Dominator memory, which runs at 3200 megahertz. And I recently upgraded to the RTX 3080 10 gig Founders Edition. And in the top USB port, I also have my SanDisk USB reader, which is how I transfer all my photos and my videos to my PC. The desk that holds everything up is actually a kitchen worktop, and I got it from eBay. It's 150 centimeters long, and it comes in a walnut finish. So I think it's a pretty good alternative to them crappy IKEA Linmon desks. So. Yeah, not a bad desk at all. Going around the sides and under my desk are the Govi LED strips, similar to the ones that I've got around my TV. Yeah, going under my desk, the cable management isn't particularly perfect. I just haven't gotten around to cleaning it up, I guess. 
And a couple of things I've missed out is obviously my microphone, which you're listening to right now, and it's the Fine Fine Ampligame A8. I made a review on this not too long ago, and it's a great mic, and I still daily drive it because I think it is a brilliant mic. And my chair is also the GT Omega Racing Chair. I don't quite know the model name. It's a fabric one, as I'm not a big fan of leather because I think it's one of the most overrated materials ever. However, this chair very comfortable serves me quite well for long gaming and editing sessions and one thing i forgot to go over was my laptop it is the asus vivo book x413 i think and it comes with a 10th gen intel core i7 8 gigs of ram and a 512 gig nvme ssd so yeah, that's pretty much the setup. That's all that's changed. So the biggest change is actually the Xbox Series X and the LG OLED TV. But there's, but little things have changed here and there. Like my camera collection has massively improved now. We've got a lot more lenses, which I need to use a bit more if I'm honest. I need to go out and get some more photos. And uh, I did actually make a new photography account on Instagram as well. It's called Dan Lem Photo. If you want to follow that to see some bangers. It's not tech related. It's just photography of pretty much anything and everything. Nature, street, stuff like that. Cars, stuff like that. So if you want to see that, I'll link it down in the description below. But other than that, that's pretty much the setup. So if you like the setup... And if you like the video, drop a like and subscribe and comment and I'll catch you in the next one.